Hey everybody, it's Ia Patsy, and I'm just here to do a short little intuition exercise for everybody today. So this is going to be for those um, born uh, water signs. Yeah, we're going to do water signs. Okay. So that will be Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. So what's going to happen is you're going to get three oracle cards, and what you're going to do while I shuffle loose cards I'm going to ask your ancestors to direct you to which one of these messages are meant for you i'm not going to show it to you until after i've picked the last card so it's going to be three cards and just to thank everybody for um, watching subscribing liking and sharing up to 2554 um, Subscribers on one channel as last time I checked. So, this is going to be for the water signs. And first card that we're going to be getting from the Journey of Love by Alana Fairchild and Richard Cohen. Richard Cohen. So, while I'm shuffling, ask the ancestors to direct you to which card is for you which card is the message that they intend to share with you today card number one card number two or card number three okay mm -hmm. i guess this is one oh. Card number one. All right. Next. Whispers of Love by Angela Hartfield and Josephine Wall. That'll be card number two. Card number two. Okay. This will be card number two. And card number three, Sacred Rebels deck. That's also by Alana Fairchild. Again, ask your ancestors while I'm shuffling which card is meant, which card is their message for you. And this is for water, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. So this is the third card. Card number three. So card number one, card number two, or card number three. All right. Ask your ancestors which of these messages were intended for you. Which of these messages do they intend for you? Oh, okay. So we'll take card number two down and 
card number three. Okay. And we'll do card number one. Card number one is 17, Her Grace. Hmm. Wow. This oracle brings you a message. There is a woman who brings divine blessings into your life who is con trying to connect with you more deeply. The blessing may be one that is obvious or one that is hidden in a challenge. This woman may be your own body if you're a female or your own inner female if you're a male. It may be a spiritual or a physical being. The great mother, your lover, your sister, or your dearest friend. It may be a woman as yet unknown to you who holds a soul contract with you. An agreement predestined to awaken you. The empowerment will come to you not by rejecting what is offered by this feminine presence, but by embracing it and finding your truth through it. This is exciting because it means that you are growing. You are entering into the female temples of wisdom and finding a home there. Okay, so there's a woman who is directing blessings into your life. Could be you, could be someone around you or someone you haven't even met yet. So that was card number one. Card number two was demonstrate love. Find out what is important to the people you love and act on it. Demonstrate love. That's nice. I like that. Hmm. Forty-eight. Four and eight is twelve. Three. Okay. So that's God, the Divine, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Demonstrate love. Sometimes people give clues about what is important to them. It could be listening when they have a lot to say, taking a walk, helping with chores, or planning to go on a vacation. Pay attention to what others are telling us. Pay attention to what others are telling us can help us understand how to love them better. So pay attention to the messages and the signals that you are getting from the people that you love and take action. Something thoughtful. It doesn't cost anything. Sometimes all you need to do is listen. Card number two. And for those of you who picked card number three, is inner trust. Trust yourself, right? Faith. Inner trust. Pardon de Excuse me one second. Uh, sorry about that. Okay, inner trust. 
the Oracle of Inner Trust comes to you with this guidance. Do you know what you're doing? <laughs> That's not what it says. It says you know what you're doing. <laughs> Sorry. You have enough wisdom and intuition to be able to place yourself more fully in the world to take steps to unhide yourself. Even if you feel you have no clue about what is happening at a broader level in your life, even if you can't quite see the whole picture of what is taking place within or around you, you still have all the wisdom and intuitive ability you need to take one step at a time and navigate your way through absolutely anything that life brings to your door. If you're thinking of taking a leap of faith and doing things differently, then this oracle brings a particular message to trust your instincts and go for it. This oracle comes at a time when the patterns of your life are shifting. You can take advantage of this shift and leap into an entirely and leap into an entirely new level of consciousness and experience. This is not a time for self-doubt or for playing small. It is time to get in touch with the courage, boldness, and daredevil within and take that step, big or small, into the future that is beckoning you forward. You have the wings to fly. Sometimes we don't realize it until we leap over the edge of what we have known and begin to soar into a new life. Inner trust. So, card number one, two, or three. Which of these cards did your ancestors direct you to? Okay, so. I hope you all enjoy that and enjoy those messages most of all. I hope it resonates and I will be uh, talking to you all very soon. Your love bites are all done and the um, June general readings are all done. So I'll be seeing you all in the beginning of June for the July readings. Thank you so much. Talk to you soon. Bye.